Hello, it's me again, Slay Nine Nine, aka No Brainer. Welcome to another Star Wars Destiny video. Uh, up against AC Vulture here with C3PO Han R2D2. Okay, cool. A bit behind the times. Gen Con was won by, um, well, it was won by Ewoks, but you know, Han Han droids didn't do didn't fare so well. So you know, um, cool. But hey, this is another droids deck for me to test against, and I have slightly, slightly altered this deck. Um, actually, what am I playing against? I'm playing against a comm tower. Uh, it's a good thing we can both spot a plot, I guess. Um, oh, and I start with the Mega Blast Trooper. That sounds great to me. I'll just throw everything else away and try for a mobilize. Uh, sound, sounds really good to me. And I don't, but I get logistics. Yes, yeah, so sudden impact. So, Gen Con was won by Ewoks. So, I'm expecting there to be quite a few Ewoks around. And, uh, Ewoks... Have trouble against this kind of card. Yeah, this is a neutral red card that a lot of decks could detect in. I think droids teching in sudden impact makes a lot of sense, for example. And that single-handedly, I think, changes the matchup in the droids' favor. Um, so I don't expect Ewoks to be winning worlds now that this is a thing. But yeah, so sudden impact is good. But uh, I took out removal to place this. I took out the measure for measure, which is worrying. Uh, in some ways. M many ways, actually. Um, because now I only have 8 pieces of removal rather than 10. And I also took out Conscript Squad and replaced it with the TL50 because I needed more dice that have a 3 side to make Sudden Impact really work. I won the Battlefield roll-off. Um, so I might as well, since I have Seizing Territory, uh, let him have the Battlefield because, so, since I have Seizing Territory. Uh, and give myself two shields on, uh, Gideon. Yeah, because Gideon has the power action. Phasma's better, though, and I have Mega Blast Troopers, but, you know, I'm doing it on Gideon. So, he can... Wow, okay. So, he's already starting off very strong. Doesn't even need to turn the R2 side to anything if he doesn't want to, but he's going to turn it to the Disrupt, maybe? No, he isn't. He's going to leave it. Okay. Cool. Um... Two ranged and a disrupt. All right. Um. And a sudden suppressive fire. Suppressive fire. Okay, cool. Well, I could sudden impact, pay one to do three, but you know, there's no real reason to do that yet. So let's roll in Captain Phasma instead, and then get uh, suppressive fired. I assume. I assume I've already got suppressive fired here. Yep, okay. That that was fully expected. Fully expected. Uh, do I discard to re-roll here is the real question. Um, I would really like to focus into the resource side, but it's uh, scary. So it's a scary proposition if my opponent has removal, is, is the thing. Um, so perhaps, perhaps not. The focus fire and sudden impact. Sudden impact is still pretty decent against three wides as well, uh, which droids are of course three wides. Um, but it's a much less of a value statement unless you're removing a three side. Which you know, droids play a lot of three sides. This deck doesn't quite so. Um, yeah. Uh, uh, do I? I think I do. Just discard the sudden impact. I go for the reroll here. I'm trying to play slow, but I can't really play slow. There's a resource. That sounds good to me. Uh, I can do 5 to the C-3PO. Here, with uh, Focus Fire. And uh, still then take the resources with Logistics. To be able to play Mega Blast Trooper. So that sounds great to me. Uh, so we'll see what he removes, if he removes something. He's not removing a thing. In fact, he paid his money for it. Okay, cool. Uh, well, I'll definitely logistics and get some money then. Because uh, I, I want to be going slow here is the thing. Now, he can do fight four to me. Um, and then take two money as well. He's going to discard me for two. Sugar. Okay, he hits the seizing territory, but he misses the Mega Blaster Trooper. I didn't think about the discard. The discard was actually very scary. Um... So it's a good thing that um, he missed it. A real good thing he missed it. But I mean, Season Impact was still going to be very strong in uh, this matchup. I 
Okay, well now he can uh, claim the battlefield. Um, but I can still go ahead and do five to him. But he, he's going to be able to claim the... Well, okay. Here's the thing, though. It doesn't take me any more... Yeah, okay. It, it didn't take me any more actions to do this, so I can at least do that. Now, I could kill... Maybe I should have been going for Han instead, because Han has the... Um... Maybe I should be going for Han instead, because Han does all the damage. But if I kill C-3PO, I'm in a really good position as well. So, uh, there's my other C's in territory. Now I get my mobilized, but I get counterintelligence and my last trooper as well. Now, the awkward thing is I need to make sure that I don't... Um die too quickly, but if he just rolls R2 and uh, changes to the side, then uh, Phasma's dying before I can do anything with her. Um, my opponent played very fast, did a lot of damage very quickly. That's going to be a problem. Oh, droids day out. Yep, so Phasma's just dead now. Uh, yep, he rolls that naturally. So now he can turn the, turn the R2 to any side. Um, to the resource, and then, um, there we go, Phasma dies, and he gets two money. Yeah, and so now I only get one Megabus Trooper die. Um, hmm. Okay, so I can mobilize and play both, uh, both, um, upgrades, which I'm definitely going to have to do here. Because I really badly need to kill someone, right now. Should have put the shields on, well, hmm. Probably Gideon's three dice. Now the the so the threes I have in this deck are the handheld cannon has three three sides. This has a one three side, and the uh, other one has two. Okay, there's the Chewbacca's. Should have gone for Han. Well, Chewbacca's can go on like anyone. Um, but I have no removal still, so you know, um, this is definitely worrying. I'm taking a lot of damage here. Philomatic healing too, okay. My target might be Han here. So this doesn't particularly matter. Here's the handheld. Here's the hidden for two, and I'm gonna roll in now, because ambush action. And of course this lands on the three for one. Uh gonna have to definitely gonna have to re-roll here. Which sucks. That's an extra four. Ow. Okay, his damage output is absolutely ludicrous right now. And um that was another that was a cock die, but it rolled up it rolled a blank anyway. I can kill off C3PO, but then I'm basically gonna definitely die to Han later. I'm gonna be leaving a lot of blanks showing here. Definitely going to be leaving a lot of blanks showing. But I'm going to be able to do six, and I'm going to throw the six. Uh, hmm. If I throw the six into Han, he's not dying this round. Is the problem. So if I throw five into the C-3PO... Oh, what? Um, yeah, five into the C-3PO, and then one into the Han. I think that's what I have to do, unfortunately. And uh, then he gets to do another three, yep. And then I can seizing territory to take the battlefield. And then I can Gideon to get out, uh... 112 versus 123. Oh, oh. I mean, it's slightly better than the Gideon die, I guess, but it has more blank sides. But hey, there's a three indirect, so I can resolve three indirect. But hey, I'm gonna draw removal now, because I haven't drawn any yet this game. Um, and of course my removal is, um, somewhat limiting in that handheld cannon and hidden blasters and such. Uh, yeah. I require me to, uh, I'm, I'm required to override with riot shields, so, you know. Uh, but I can at least tactical mastery. And roll out Gideon. And, uh, potentially resolve everything I need to resolve. Uh, I might blow something up quickly enough. I don't. That's fantastic. 
That is absolutely fantastic. That's exactly what you want to be able to what you want to see on a um, tactical mastery rollout. So let's. Uh, I've got a one ranged. That's that's a really good result. Uh, I can't believe that 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 was just so bad. Mr. Bones, Mr. Bones. Okay. You're going to be droid staying out with Mr. Bones. You could have... R2 can only turn to the one melee, but you can turn to the one and the one. Yeah, that's not a kill. Um, yeah, I, I just have to discard and reroll and just try and go for a kill on someone here. That's more like it. Four, five, six, seven, eight. That is a kill on Han if he has no removal. He probably has removal, though. Oh, he's overriding. Overriding with the Harm Blaster. Seven is still a kill on Han, at least. But uh, with the ambush action, he gets to potentially hit three and kill me immediately. And he does! Wow! Fantastic! My ambush... Act my... My action cheat was terrible. Yours, fantastic. Woo! Alright, well, game number two. Draw no removal that entire game, and then his action sheet works and my action sheet doesn't. So that, that was good. Uh, that was really good for him, get, get in all those kills, because if he didn't kill with the Han, I had enough to re- I had enough to remove him and actually survive for that turn. Um, and then I could potentially have gone for the next turn. And then I'm going for the kill. Uh, okay, so, I got TL50 and a Sudden Impact. The Sudden Impact is great with the TL50. Um... But my opponent will typically just remove a lot of my dice. Which makes this a little awkward. You now being able to do two to each is very, very scary. Uh, but I don't think I want to- I don't want to be playing the TL50, let's be honest. I think I'll keep the doubt though, um, and I'll toss these three. TL50 and doubt sounds good. The thing is, Mega Blaster Trooper was a fantastic start, and I'm just not gonna get that this time around. But I did get Seizing Territory, Sudden Impact, Focus Fire. Okay, I did get a decent selection, it's just, they cost money. And I don't have money. Um... Alright, we're gonna go with his again. Um, we're gonna put the shields on uh, Phasma this time. Let's see him roll that two melee again! <laughs> Alright, turning it to the two melee though. Um, do I doubt this? Yeah, I'll doubt that. And here's the shield. Alright, shield is less. Okay, salvage arm on the C-3PO. This this gets wor worrying, but there we go. Resource and a blank. Resource still gets me access to focus fire or sudden impact, so I'm okay with that. All right, the C-3PO. He's hoping for the resource side, and he gets it. So you know there was a there was a really high chance he was missing that um, and getting the focus side instead, but he gets lucky as hell. So you know that's great. All right, TL50 comes in. I can't believe he got that. He almost certainly has a Hans Blaster for that as well. Like, what the fuck? Ah! He's getting lucky, I'm getting unlucky, and now I'm, now I'm angry. I'm angry. I should stop being so angry. He passes. I take my money. He definitely has Hans Blaster.
Okay, he's definitely trying to force me to activate. Um... If I see using territory, uh, and then it hits a gun, he's going to use the Hans Blaster. If he, if we both pass, he goes up to six resources. But I made money off of this. He, he gets more money than me, is the thing. But if he has a really bad hand... I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to seizing territory. And then I'm going to pass. Because now I get the first, I get the next turn. If he passes, I get the start, start the next round. With Mega Blaster Troopers and stuff, I think me not taking damage is more valuable than dealing damage to him. Okay, he activates harm. The problem is he's definitely going to um, win the battlefield off me um, at the start uh, at the end of this turn. Two range, two range. That I can do six from this. Hans Blaster makes me remove a die. And then he does a one. Cool. I'm gonna Gideon. I'm gonna put I'm gonna roll in the Phasma die again. And it hits a and it hits a blank. Of course it does. Now, I might discard to reroll here, um, but I could also just claim and do three. And just punch him for three, straight up. I'm missing out on potentially two damage. Um, probably two damage. I could also be using the heavy repeater, go turn it to the, th turn it to the three, and then... So an impacting, but I think claiming and just doing three, uh, it leaves the battlefield in my control. Ah, he had a field medic. Okay. Damn these people and their soft removals. And then I lose the focus fire. Okay. That's fine. That's fine. I'm discarding the sudden impact. I'm going to need removal and more dice cards. But I think overall I slightly made an advantage there. Now I have two handheld cannons, um, which is uh, very terrifying actually. I'm going to start with a mob- Oop. I don't know what the hell happened there. I'm going to start with a mobilize, take, take a money. Um, and then what this means is I can play both handheld cannons basically. The thing is I have to be very scared of his damage still. Um, there was a one there. Um, that was one damage. Yeah, okay, he got it. Alright, so now I guess suppressive fire, that's fine. I'm gonna... Handheld cannon the Gideon, and then I can roll Gideon out, and we'll see if he wants, who he wants to go for still. Now, I can't play two handheld cannons, obviously, because catch character's limit would be decreased by two. And play it on here, and then roll out Gideon, and then I don't have to do any stalling. One range, to one range, and one resource. So you can turn this to the 3 for 1 and resolve it, you can turn this to the 2 and resolve it. I am running out of cards to remove, though. Um, but I think I will just... Yeah, I will near miss that one. It cost me a money to do this. I don't get to handheld cannon, but it was that or sinister piece. But sinister piece only works on two or more. All right, so he gets the C he rolls in the C three PO. So the three C three PO gets to um, double focus, um, and then he gets to do whatever he wants, or he takes two money. And he doesn't do anything. Alright, so he's wanting to turn the dice to whatever side he wants, sure. Uh, let's roll in Gideon, then I'll roll in- then I'll use Gideon's power action on Phasma, probably. Oh, that's the five. Yeah, remove the two. Cool. Five indirect. Unfortunately, I didn't have, um, sudden impact because I threw it away. 
And I, that's why I don't need Sudden Impact. Um, let's actually put in a Gideon die because um, then I can spend the single action to roll in Phasma. Ah, uh, okay, Rex's Blaster. So if he controls the battlefield, he gets to do his thing. Well, I am now. I now need to be faster. So let's be faster. There's a three for one. It's not terrible, I guess. Now he's going to turn. Turn twice. The two melee. He's going to then do three and then do two, right? Yeah, and uh, I can't really stop that unless I resolve, unless I take them, take the uh, three myself and claim. So I can stop myself taking two damage if I do the Sinister Peace play. Or I just claim. Well, I don't want to just claim. Will he turn to the two? The other two is the question. If he turns to the other two, I get a free uh, turn out of it. So let's just do the two indirect now. Uses the C-3PO to turn to the other two. Takes one, and he's putting it on Han. Okay. He's doing three. He's just doing three, and then he's going to claim for the next round. So that sounds good to me. Uh, so I'm just going to... Yeah. I've got a lot of dice potential here for a lot of potential damage, but I think I just need to keep the battlefield because of Rex's blaster and do four. Four is still very significant in terms of damage. I'm still searching for that... Um... Oh, he discards the Chewies for that. Didn't, did not get his money. Good. Uh, I'm still searching. I still have two tactical masteries. So I can potentially still blow up um, a Han. Oh, and he's... Oh, frig. He's got a lot of stuff he can still do. Uh, he can still turn that to the three and then do five. Ow. Right, that's five. Was it on two before? I think it was on two before. I think it was on two before. All right, this other handheld cannon I might need to keep because it might need to go on Phasma here. So uh, let's just try and find this uh, tactical mastery. Did not find this tactical mastery. Um, on the bright side, I'm pretty sure I can roll out Gideon without dying here. Uh, the question is, does Gideon actually roll range damage? He rolls range damage! Hallelujah! And he kills me! God damn it! Should have respected it with the playing the riot shield. Oh my god, and three shields as well. Ah... This sucks. It sucks that I didn't hit see that at all. Well, there's there's my other handheld cannon now. And Han still hasn't activated either. Damn, I'm getting absolutely wrecked. This deck is supposed to be able to kill someone very fast, but he's just killing me faster than I can kill him. Um I mean I will definitely say that some of this has definitely been luck. I've I've not rolled well at all this round. And last round was absolutely horrible. And there we go, so I don't actually have any removal in my hand either anymore. There's a three for one and a plus three, but I don't have the money for this. So he's fine. I have to remember that TL50 can do power actions. Turn into the two, yep. Let's discard this near miss. Let's reroll all three of these. There's a one ranged. Okay, uh, the thing that missed was the TL-50. Uh, uh, okay, so if you had a character at seven, if, I can do seven here, 
at max. There's really no point in me doing seven. But I can turn the TL to a two. And then hit him for six. But I, I do have to worry that that might... Uh, then you might have removal for it, but... He still has a lot of damage that he hasn't resolved yet, so let, let's do TL. Let's let's pl pl flip it to the two. Let's let's try to kill harm with six. Could kill could kill R two instead. R two is an eight. Problem is this R two is going to be fast. I think I think I do need the action economy here. So let's let's throw six into R two here. He's going to claim. He's going to do three. Yep. I'm going to then kill R two, and uh, do I then override this handheld with the right shield? <sighs> I don't think I do. I think I need to resolve as my first action is the problem. Um. Mm, mm. No, I think I think I need to survive. If um, all right, I'm doing that. All right, so Phasma Phasma can still survive against the Chewbacca's if I do this. Is the theory here? And uh, I do have Tactical Mastery, I have Counterintelligence, I have Focus Fire. So I can tactical mas potentially still do a Tactical Mastery Focus fi uh, Fire situation. Um, what does that require? So that requires 3 and a 2 is 5. Mm. Is more than enough is the, is the answer there. I could override right shield with hidden blaster. It takes the damage off it. it. It deals the damage to him, but then I do not have the focus fire. So let's counter intelligence. Easy pickings. Automate defense. Investigate. Pass. Instigate. Pacify. Oh god. Well, let's get rid of the instigate because that is the problem. That that is how he wins. He just instigates me. But maybe if he'd instigate it and then resolved, I could have got rid of the right shield. Then played the hidden. Bla well, that won't be tactical mastery. But yeah, he's got three pieces of removal here. Now, one of them does give me shields, at least, but... Alright, well, he gets a blank there, which re-rolls into the two, and of course it does. Now, C-3PO rolls in, he can resolve it. He can increase the value by one. Doesn't kill me, though. Um, so let's Tactical Mastery. Let's Let's see what I get here. Come on, big roll. Oh wow, that is a big roll. Okay. That's 10. Uh, that's kill. Nice! Okay. That was a big roll. Then I can flip the TL50 and he has to remove it. Uh, if I flip it to the two, then he removes it immediately. If I flip it to the to the special, I might get something out of this before he removes it. Potentially, he might decide to not do it, not remove it for some weird reason. He might. He's gonna take two shields. Okay, well that's indirect, and then rerolls for three for one. Now he removes it. That sounds good to me. Then I get to claim. And he discards easy pickings because he can't can no longer spot a yellow. Now I'm okay with doubt here and focus fire and hidden blaster. Because I can actually put down the hidden blaster now, because uh, I got rid of the handheld. So I'll just do this. Uh seizing territory. Okay, so hidden blaster is good, but so is the other TL50. But I think I'll take the hidden blaster so I can focus fire. Uh so I'll play the hidden blaster for two, uh removes his shield, and then I can roll in. And it's a bunch of blanks. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. 
But he has no upgrades right now to do anything. Okay, he's got Mr. Bones. Mr. Bones can still do some good damage. Let's discard and reroll all of them. There's three ranged. Uh, so the 3PO can increase, can't increase it by one because he needs to spend the money on it. And it only rolled a one anyway, so yeah, I can um, focus fire, resolve this, uh, resolve them for five. Uh, TL to the two. Uh, calm, calm, claim, kills. Calm, claim, kills. There. Calm, claim, kills. Click, 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 kills. Oh, yeah. So he has to claim. He deals the two. I am gonna riot shield that. Actually. Now I'm just gonna discard this TL50 and I'm gonna try for some damage. Hit the focus. Uh, the focus could send me to the one and then a re-roll. But I only have one side I can resolve with this, so I'm actually going to discard the doubt. And I'm going to re-roll and just try for the damage. And it looks like I'm not getting it, so let's just do two. Alright. Uh, if he droids day outs me and hits a two melee, I die, actually. So, uh, I might have made a mistake there. Yeah, there was no way I was dying otherwise, so that was a mistake. That was definitely a mistake. I guess I should have kept the season territory, actually, to start the round. Okay, doesn't have Droid's Day out. Doesn't have Droid... Uh, well, he'd have to hit the 3-for-1 as well. Um, but yeah, that was that was a chance. There was a small chance, so... Let's, um... Not just... Hit nothing this time. Okay. Let's play it safe. Let's just play the Riot Shield. Four blanks. It's just like really, really four, four, four blanks. Okay, there's a one range. The one range kills. Let's see if he removes it. So he can resolve that, then resolve the faithful companions to increase its value by one, but he has to pay the money for it. Um, yep, so I'll uh, burn the three. GG. Alright. I'll admit, the two specials was lucky, but I had focus fire, so if it hit two range sides as well, it would have been fine. Okay, round three. Because this deck can definitely be droids. I just don't know how um, how consistent it is a beating, because this is a very fast deck with Com Tower. Very fast. And that Com Tower kind of changes a lot of things. So the TL50 actually worked out uh, there purely because he didn't have a lot, he doesn't play a ton of removal, so being able to power action and turn it to whatever side I want can be very effective. Alright, draw five. There's the Mega Blaster, there's the Sun Impact, there's the TL50. Well, all I really want from this is the Mega Blaster, and I'm just going to see if I can get the Mega Blaster to work. Oh, no. Okay. I have a TL50 here, though. Have counterintelligence. I at least be threatening. Yeah, this is a very poor opening hand, unless logistics comes through, and then I get to TL50 and Hidden Blaster.
I don't know, do I just play Hidden Blaster straight up and then see if the logistics comes through? Because it is a resource, I guess. I don't know, which, which, who's, is he taking the shields is a good question. Yeah. No, he's giving me the shields again. Okay. Um, putting it on Phasma again. Alright, Han Solo's dice comes in, so that's scary. There's a counterintelligence, though. Um, I'm going to get rid of the automated defense. He can keep the easy pickings. I'm just going to have to hope I don't roll the same. On my dice. Which is quite likely. Alright, yes, to re-roll that because of the Hans dice into the discard side. Cool. Well, um, because I now know he can remove he can do the um, the easy pickings, I think I'm just gonna straight up play the TL50. Um, TL50 can be turned to a side that's not showing as easy pickings without being removed, is the idea here. Resource, you might just take four. You just might just take a ton of money here, uh, and go for a Chewbacca's rifle on R two. Yeah. Okay. Discard hits the Mega Blaster. Hits the logistics. Okay. All right. So looks looks great to me. Now, Gideon doesn't have a focus side or a discard side, so I don't have to worry about easy picking so much. There's a one range, though, so he gets to remove them both. But, you know, that could be a lot scarier. Um, if I turn to the two ranged, he rolls in R2, he turns the Han die, he still has two dice to remove, so then I can turn the TL50 to the plus three and go for the hit. So, sounds good to me. Let's go to the two there. Yeah, he's still got plenty of stuff to do um, before he's claiming. Hits the two ranged. Uh, pay the three. Pay the three. Alright, so let's TL50, go to the plus three. Um, who do I go for? Han has more dodge, but uh, Chewbacca's rifle is very scary with R2, so let's go into R2. R2 is now at six. And he's going for Gideon again. And he can turn the die to whatever he wants. He can turn it to the three. That sounds fine to me. And he's going to hit me for seven. Yep, painful. But that's how it goes. Now I'm not gonna I'm not gonna throw away this die die card because I don't have a lot of them left. Uh, I do get to start the the round here. So I with the start of the round, I'm definitely just rolling out Gideon. Definitely just trying to use up Gideon as much as I can before he dies with a droid's day out, most probably. But hey, I can logistics. And logistics and then double hidden blaster. That's pretty insane. Yep, there comes the droid stay out. So Gideon's gonna die without being able to do his power action. Maybe I should have power actioned Phasma here, actually. Yeah, if Gideon was definitely gonna die, should have power actioned Phasma out, so I actually gotta die. Yep, so Gideon dies. And then oh he hit he actually hit that, so that's a problem. So I can't um, logistics anymore. I can't uh, near miss anymore. So I might as well play my hidden blaster for two and then just roll in the phasma. Um, he does still have an easy pickings left. So I've got to be aware of that if he didn't remove it. He didn't get rid of it. Yeah, he didn't get rid of it. So he still has an easy pickings left. There's the one ranged. I can turn this to the plus three uh, and g turn this. Well, I'll turn it to the two range, right? Go for that kill. Oh. I can take the money here if I wanted to with logistics, but I'm not gonna. I'm gonna discard this near miss. I'm gonna reroll these. Hope I don't hit the two up. Oh, that gets easy pickings away. I uh, should not have. I should have turned that to the plus three beforehand because the plus three was definitely what I was going to resolve there. But I can at least go for a kill on R two, D two uh, by claiming here, and I'm just gonna take a million damage off of uh, Han. Because he can turn to the 4 just fine. But uh, killing the R2 is very essential here, getting a kill off. If 
Fortunately, I haven't got through a ton of my deck, so the likelihood of being able to survive this is uh, looking quite grim. But I'll try for it. Oh, a suppressive fire as well. Ouch. Uh, yeah, I, I do just need the um, riot shields, and there's a riot shield. So that's great. So I definitely am going to riot shield here for one. Then I can counterintelligence and go for a focus fire, but again, I have no removal. Ah, uh, that's a Rexus. Okay, well let's let's roll out Phasma, see if I can get a random ass kill here. There's a three, there's a one. Um that would be seven with the focus fire. Not eight though. Now if he removes one of these dice with suppressive fire, it does cost him the money, but That's why it feels really awkward to use here. Moving the focus. Okay, that's very fair. Do I just focus fire here? Five. Well, six. And then try for the hidden blaster. One side. And save the counterintelligence for next round. Well, what, what else could happen, right? I re-roll, I hit the plus two, um, and then I'm still hitting for six. Then I can turn the TL-50, but if he has removal, then I can't do any of that. If he has removal, the three just turns to the three for one, and then I do four, potentially. Okay, well, let's try that, actually. Let's counter intelligence. See if he has removal. Alright, so he has Pacify, Droids Day Out, Field Medic, Army Defense. So let's get rid of this Pacify. Play back on top of the deck, so that's why Phasma's not taking... Well, she'd have to... She'd take shields for it, actually. Shields wouldn't be too bad. But now I know he has no removal. Um, so I can discard and reroll this one. I hit it. That's awesome. Yes, he turns the wrong die. Well, not the wrong die, but he turns one of the die. He turns the die in such a way that I can definitely go for a kill here. So I can... Um... Or do I want to put harm to two? Problem is he resolves the two against me. I go to seven. He then turns all the harm dice to nine. I can't kill him either way though, this way I stopped the C-3PO just rolling in and killing me. Yeah, let's let's focus fire, let's hit R2 for 5. That's uh, 6, sorry. Yeah, 6. The whole point is then I claim Com Tower for the kill. Or, if he claims, that'd be amazing for me. Because then I riot shield remove. But he would still be able to Rex's Blaster C3PO start rollout. But please claim. Claim would be amazing for me right now if you do that. Right now, he can basically discard to reroll and almost guarantee. Okay, removing the right shield, and uh, then I. Yeah, I just resolve a one. Okay, he might get an instigate out and kill me though. 
All right, don't get I okay, so I don't get a um Yeah, uh unfortunately I did not this time around get a um a right shield. So that's a real big problem. I do have I do have a handful of removal though. If he spends the action doing anything, I tactical mastery roll in and kill C3PO potential likely. Doubt can't be used on my own dice. Okay, so he is he is taking the roll. Two indirect. He can still. That's still three. That's still very very deadly. It's absolutely nothing on those though. But he can still pay the one and do eight. Yep. Okay, well, let's Tactical Mastery. Let's roll in Phasma. Let's see what I get. A two and a plus three. That is five against Han, though, so that's not very helpful. Let's just kill off R2. R2 can still... Uh, C3PO, sorry. C3PO can still focus. That can still be a problem for me. Don't hit two. Don't hit two of them. Okay, cool. This is where I discard to re-roll. Ah, shit. Whoops. Whoops. I just had to doubt. Well, I doubt he focuses. If he if he decides to focus the one, then I'm dead anyway. Focus with the power action. That is. Whoops, a Daisy. All right. Well, I am 100% not getting into the top cut now because I am now three four. Ah. Uh. That sucks. That, that really sucked. Ah, uh, okay. Um, so what went wrong there? Well, I didn't draw the card I wanted. I didn't have a ton of removal. My removal was very limited in what it could do. Um, the, removing the mesh mesh sudden impact and I never resolved a sudden impact. Even though sudden impact is supposed to be good for this deck. But it's kind of necessary against Ewoks. But covering fire... It was definitely stronger against, um, it's, it's definitely really good against this deck, but it's, I need some impact for Ewoks, I feel like. Ugh. Not getting Gideon activations sucked. Um, his battlefield was really, really good for him. What else could I have done? I only getting Mount Mayblaster's Troopers once. I, how much of this was down to... Poor look. I mean, so Conscript Squads. Conscript Squads was what I replaced Heavy Blaster for. And I'm glad I took the... And the Heavy Blaster did perfectly fine in this matchup because his matchup had low removal. Um, I... Uh, easy Pickings was a problem there. I ran into the Easy Pickings like an idiot. Yes. Um, I ran into the Easy Pickings like an idiot. I needed to turn the Heavy Blaster first to the plus three. Um, because there was a chance I got hit... There was a chance I got hit with it. Um, yeah, and I think that lost me the game, basically. Yeah, because that had happened, c 3 would have died, and I would have been perfectly fine to deal with this, so... Uh, bad sequence on my part. Uh, yeah. So, I think the result here was a bad sequence on my part. Not just this bad doubt at the end. Um... I walked into that second easy pickings. Game one, I'm just um, throwing away as a unlucky game for me compared to you. 
That, so I could have, if I had been slower with my, my resolves, C3PO was dead this round. Uh, was dead the round before, the turn previous, and then you couldn't resolve that three indirect. I think that was the pl mistake. Um, the, the lack of removal does hurt here, though. Sinister Piece is also a problem. It, it discards a card from my hand to remove a die shown value of two or more, but I do need the zero cost. The, with the TL50s over the Conscript Squads, my deck has gained quite a significant cost increase. Do I need Logistics? Could I replace Logistics for a removal piece? Yeah, I noticed. <laughs> Logistics was not particularly helpful this time around. When it works, it works really well, though. Um, I have the dice. I have the dice cards for Logistics to really pay off if it hits. But here I just want to do damage. Maybe I can replace Logistics with a Measure for Measure again. Measure for Measure, though, wasn't great either because it was Trooper Dice. And unless I got Megalast Trooper out, I, I didn't have a lot of Trooper Dice. Uh, going to Europe? There's a thing happening in Europe, is there? Is there a thing happening in Europe? Yeah, um... Because, yeah, the TL50s definitely definitely worked this time. Oh, right, in Poland. Uh, yeah, no. No, I'm spending my holiday budget this year on Worlds. I'm... I live in the UK. Uh, yeah, I am, by the way, I am going to Worlds. I, I, I probably never, never uh, announced it, but I will be going to Worlds this year as well, as I did last year. Um, feels bad. I'm definitely going to have to, um, de definitely going to have to donate some money to uh, a charity to make up for the carbon footprint I'm going to be having for it, but yeah. Uh, <laughs> all right, so let's be me against Slay 99 aka No Brainer. Thank you for watching. Signing out.